Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cloud Task Summit for 2023. I'm David Delaney, and I am so honored to be able to join you today. We're going to be talking about a subject that's near and dear to my heart, which is event led growth and how we use that at 10 bound to grow the business and how you could potentially use it at your business to really help with sales. Again, I'm with Tenbound, and we are a research and advisory firm that focuses on go-to-market pipeline and revenue. So everything that you need as far as insights and intelligence to help you grow your pipeline and revenue, you can find it at tenbound.com. So we're talking event-led growth. And what does that even mean? How do you leverage it in order to grow at massive sales results at your company this year and really take it to the next level? So basically, at its most fundamental level, event-led growth refers to the strategic use of events, such as conferences, trade shows, product launches, to drive your business growth. And the goal is to use it as a channel to attract new customers generate leads and create brand awareness. So what's the difference between that and what you're already doing today? Well, we're gonna go through some of the main components of it and then how you can actually use it. So number one is getting off the growth treadmill and staying motivated over the long haul. Number two is looking at the cadence by David Sachs and how you can actually apply that to your growth business. How event-led growth actually works and some success stories and some learnings or warnings that we have from using this at 10bound and working on it with our customers. So let's talk about the growth treadmill. Before we go into event-led growth, how do we usually run our campaigns over the long term? As you can see, sales is all about motivation, especially with SDRs. How do you stay motivated to grow over the long term? And we're running a lot of different activities. We have the SDR outreach campaigns. We're posting content. We've got the AEs doing their own outreach. We're doing a trade show next week. Oh, by the way, there's a marketing campaign that's coming up. And meanwhile, the product team is launching new products. Uh, there's a big end of quarter push because we got to make our number. And there's a webinar coming up next week. Uh, can, can the SDRs help to promote that? Uh, and don't forget, we've got to uh, prepare for our QBRs and the SKOs. And, and by the way, uh, has the uh, SDR team been prospecting lately? There's a lot of energy going into all these different campaigns. There's a lot of people on the hook for different metrics as far as growth and development of the pipeline. But as you can see, we're kind of all rowing in a different direction. And some people are doing great and some people are struggling. Some of the campaigns are really taking off and some not so much. It just lacks a, an overall cohesion that, that uh, you, know, you could potentially leverage to use to be more streamlined. So that is where event-led growth comes in. It helps you with brand awareness, lead generation, alignment, product alignment, content production, and it uh, focusing and leveraging the existing work that you're already doing to create momentum by focusing on a consistently rolling deadline. And so how it could potentially work is on the one hand, you have marketing and product working together. And on the other hand, you have sales. So at all times on the calendar, there's a large event each quarter. You have a conference that you're potentially running. Now that this can be a virtual conference or an in-person conference, depending on the size of your company and the budget, but there's a big event that happens each quarter. And so throughout the quarter, you're always building up throughout the year to this big event. And that's aligning the resources and the, uh, the energy of folks to be working toward that big event. And from the business perspective, you're lining up the new product launches with that particular event. 
And so instead of coming out in drips and drabs and doing uh, promos and product releases based on a uh, schedule that's not necessarily in sync with the sales team, you're actually syncing it up with that conference that you're putting on each quarter. And as you're leading up to the conference, it's kind of snaps the sales team and the SDRs into an overall focus. And so you always know that everyone's sort of on the same page, running in the same direction, talking about the same thing and keeping the momentum up toward that next conference and that next product release. And you can see how it could potentially work in that you've got a, like a keynote event that you're happening, that you're uh, scheduling each quarter. And the content that's taking place in there not only attracts a new audience and a new set of prospects for your pipeline, but it's also highlighting the work that you've been doing to develop your product and to be able to release new features, new functionality, or whole new products. And so there's a there's an overall uh, timeline that is contributing to the the um, hard work that you're doing in product development and also the hard work of prospecting that the SDRs and the AEs are doing to drive interest in the actual event. And so you've got the events four times per year on the calendar. And then in between those, as you're coming up with the uh, content and the, the, um, the programs for the events, you're also running the usual content marketing that's taking place to support your audience and to support the, the new product development. So you've got webinars, blog posts, newsletters, your community posts happening, and your SDRs working on top accounts to make them aware of the new content that you're putting out there and the event that's coming up. And especially if you're doing in-person events, it's all about driving interest and attendance and meetings around these events that you're having so that you can meet customers and pers prospective customers face-to-face -face and get to know them and really create those relationships that is so hard to find in our uh, remote environment that we're having. So this really focuses and targets the entire go-to-market team on a regular cadence versus that, that uh, usual um, type of scenario that you see out there where everyone's you know, created their own silos, they've got their own metrics, and they're sort of rowing in all different directions. And there's a lot of energy wasted and there's a lot of uh, potential momentum wasted because everyone's you know, working on their own thing. And especially when it comes to marketing and sales alignment, which is becoming more and more important, especially as we need greater efficiency in our marketing, uh, let's make sure that every ounce of, of energy and focus and passion is being uh, focused toward a direction that can drive the greatest amount of pipeline and revenue. And events are the way to be, to be able to bring everybody together to do that. And then you start over at the beginning. Now, great success stories. As you know, if you think about Apple, Apple is really the, the, um, the quintessential event-led marketing organization. So you can see how the entire company is based around new product releases and events that unveil those. And um, the late, great Steve Jobs was a master salesperson in making sure that the products were amazing and they were presented in a way that got a lot of excitement. And they were always building up toward that latest product release and all the energy of the company could be put toward making those events amazing and uh, really showcasing the amazing technology that they were developing and getting people excited. At the same time, building a community and uh, building lifelong fans based on the experience that they had at those events. 
Tesla is another great example and the great Elon Musk who comes out and uh, you probably have seen the videos and recognize uh, the importance that they place on event-led growth in releasing their their cars. And, and you know, the, the famous uh, uh, example of um, the unbreakable glass of the Tesla Cybertruck and uh, and the hype and the uh, the discussion. We're still talking about it years later of uh, the fact that the, the glass actually did break in the demo, but um, he was able to play it off in a way that made it funny and endearing and, and um, a part of the Tesla lore. And you could see how, you know, the whole company is so focused on uh, releasing new products and creating, you know, new solutions and then building up to this. It's almost like a release at the event of, of um, uh, show, showcasing the, the product in a way that people are super excited about. And then a long tail of building that community. Uh, great example is Tenbound. Uh, we have embraced event-led growth over the last few years. We started the Tenbound conference that was a real focus on sales development and marketing and sales alignment back in 2017. And uh, we continued to grow that event as a, a, a yearly cornerstone event. And then during COVID, because we couldn't run the live event, we started to uh, organize virtual conferences each quarter and be and understood how it it even though we're a small team, it really helped us to focus on what is the content going to be? Um, how, how do we um, uh, create the content that is most beneficial to our audience? And how are we always staying motivated by pushing toward those events through the quarter? And so it's helped us to uh, build brand awareness. Um, we have a, a consistent set of leads that are coming in based on the work that we do around the events. And uh, it, it helps us to create content that we can repurpose throughout the year. So we've had a, a tremendous amount of growth and it keeps growing uh, as we speak. Airmeet, um, the host for today's conference and really the, the uh, quintessential uh, naming convention for event-led growth. Mark Killens at uh, Airmeet was the first person to use this that I heard of as a way to organize um, you know, his go-to-market strategy around events. And they've had tremendous growth using Airmeet as their virtual conference event platform, running events and consistently pushing toward that, that big um, quarterly or monthly or quarterly event that they're doing in order to keep that motivation and, and snowball rolling. And CloudTask, right? We're here today because of an event uh, hosted on AirMeet and uh, with Tenbound as a, as a partner to be able to, to help bring you this content. Uh, they, you know, beforehand, um, the several hundred or thousand people who signed up for this event maybe had never even heard of CloudTask and didn't know about the exciting marketplace opportunity that they've put together. And so brand awareness, uh, you know, has been uh, accentuated by using this approach. They're going to get leads, they're going to get more people into the two-sided marketplace based on running this event. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see another uh, conference next year, both in person, um, you know, down at their headquarters or virtual in this way. So just amazing, you know, success stories across the board in really aligning your go-to-market team around the event-led growth strategy. Now, there's definitely some warnings. There's some things that you got to watch out for when you're putting this together. And, you know, one of the, one of the best reasons to implement an event-led growth strategy is to remain um, in a constant state of forward motion. Um, if you talk to any SDRs out there or any AEs, you know one of the things that's really tough with the job is keeping your motivation and keeping your momentum. Um, it, it just seems like you're on this growth treadmill where uh, there's all these things happening and you're expected to hit your number all the time, 
But after three months, six months, 12 months, two years, however long, it's just after a while, it's, it's, it's very easy to burn out and lose that motivation. And so you want to keep that motivation because we're always working toward the next event. We're always trying to fill it up. We're always um, coming up with the content and the new ideas and, and, um, and the, um, you know, the, the momentum to fill up the room and get people in there and build that pipeline. But on the flip side, if you start running this a lot, um, it, it, it can become routine as well. And you, there's two things. One is no boring content is, is, is uh, allowed. Um, it cannot become boring. You have to uh, keep your passion for uh, keeping the audience engaged and keeping people excited to learn and grow and develop, um, you know, based on attending your events. And if it starts to get stale, if it starts to get boring, you're going to plateau, you're going to flatline, and your your team is not going to have as much fun in putting it together because it's just becoming rote and repeti repetitious. And I'll skip over to, to point three there. You have to have a vision for your event-led growth. You've got to, um, first of all, have a good idea about your ideal customer profile and the personas who engage and buy your product. And then you have to have a vision for what is going to be your thought leadership in helping those uh, companies and in helping the people that you work with to achieve their goals and their objectives by using your product or service? You've got to have that vision. There's got to be something different about what you're doing um, to be able to keep that momentum alive and, and to keep it fresh and interesting. Because um, if not, if you just become another cookie cutter you know, corporate uh, business type of um, media company, basically, then again, you're going to start to lose people flatline and this, this uh, strategy is not going to work. The other thing that's very important, that's critical for event-led growth is you have to have tight coordination, no silos, no politics, um, you know, not, no uh, territory, <laughs> you know, territorial aspects, especially in a remote environment. The entire go-to-market team has got to work together as a cohesive, almost like a sports team, you know, working together to make sure that that you're you're executing on the event-led growth strategy properly, and um, there's not people out kind of doing their own thing that doesn't uh, contribute toward uh, the success of the next event and the, the um, metrics and, and guidelines that you put together that you want to see fulfilled. Everyone's got to work on the same page. And the, at the end of the day, the, the, the goal for event-led growth is to build solid pipeline and revenue for your company. And, and um, th that is the North Star that everyone needs to be working towards. And so the, the beautiful thing about event-led growth is that it really focuses everyone on the next thing that's coming and the next and the next. And without losing motivation, we can all focus on how do we build as much pipeline and revenue for the company um, by really adding value to our audience. And so it's very important that there's there's um, great communication and uh, you know great execution when it comes to event led marketing. So how do you get started if you want to pull it all together? First things first is quarterly planning. You got to look at the whole year and then break it into quarters. The the um, you know the human being um, has the ability to go really really hard for about ninety days before. The energy starts to dissipate and um, people start to lose interest on things. And when I say people, it's you and your team, you know, and your go-to-market team, you got about 90 days of attention before it's just, it, it starts to un unravel. So be sure that every quarter by around the end of the quarter, there's that big event planned. And that's what we're going to work for uh, toward the quarter. We have a theme. Um, we have a um, uh, a vision for it. We have a, a thought leadership piece. We have a product that's going to be released at the same time. And we have a date down 
for the quarter. Next, shared success metrics. No more silos. Um, we're going to make sure that we have a, a, a goal of filling up the room, um, driving X amount of pipeline, and, uh, and you know, on a long tail that we have enough sales in the pipeline to be able to hit our number because that's what that's what we're here for. So we got to make sure that we have those shared metrics and it's no longer MQLs and SQLs and all these different acronyms, it's pipeline and revenue. Okay, next we have to have a sort of a, a general manager of the event-led growth and weekly coordination meetings. We got to make sure that everybody's on the same page about what we're doing and who's going to be doing what. So the SDRs, the AEs, the marketing folks, PR, the event team, obviously, um, the, even the product team to understand that we're all working in the same direction. We're gonna hit that date, um, that deadline for the event and everything is going to be smooth and organized from a logistic perspective to be able to really execute on that. Finally, we get to the end. It's a super successful event. We learned some stuff. We, we um, made a lot of mistakes, which we always do. Um, we blew some opportunities. What is the feedback loop? What did we learn from the event? And um, how can we put that into making sure that, first of all, we don't do that again um, on the stuff that, that went wrong and that uh, we use the, the stuff that went right and the learnings to make the next one even better. And then, you know, after, okay, take a, Take a weekend, you know, relax, chill for a while, take a few days, and then, okay, we're back to quarterly planning. We got another event coming up in three months, and um, this is what it's about. This is what we're going to do. Here's how everyone's going to be organized. Let's go ahead and, and uh, start the process again. And it goes on and on. And the main thing is it's uh, keeping it fresh, keeping it fun and keeping it uh, you know, forward momentum so that uh, you, you always have that something to look forward to, that deadline on the calendar that you're working toward and, uh, and everyone's on the same page. We can help with this. Uh, Tenbound has advisory services. We work with companies to implement their event-led growth strategy and, um, and really finding your, your go-to-market fit for people that are struggling to get this set up. It, or if you ever need any help or advice or you'd like more information about how to set up event-led growth, just hit me up. I'm happy to jump on a call and, and talk you through how we use it and how some of the best companies in the world use this particular strategy. With event-led growth, really, it's it's if you can get this right, it's um, it's much more fun. It's much more motivating and much more successful than that initial growth, you know, treadmill that you get on that most of us are on most of the time where there's a lot of different people working on different things and you're just not leveraging and utilizing your time in the best way. So I'm a big advocate for event-led growth. I would definitely check out um, the 10 bound uh, website for more information about how to implement it. Uh, big thanks to Airmeet for hosting the event today and a huge uh, round of applause and, and um, uh, you know, just support for CloudTask for putting this together and utilizing event-led event, event -led growth uh, to make it possible for us to, to talk today. So thank you so much. I look forward to meeting everybody and have a great rest of the conference.